the number of supporters from all over the world. I met, I met a Welsh guy out there who said in his Welsh accent, I'm not going to try because I'll probably mess it up. But he said, my daughter came the night before to hide my passport because she did not want me to come out to Qatar. And uh, he said, big, big, big bloke. He said, but I said to her, listen, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to check it myself. Yeah. Now, so what you what you would imagine is with high speed Internet, and I'll just look at my watch. Sure. I have to meet my brother. No oh, problem. I've got ten minutes. No problem. I'm going to meet, not my brother. You know, sorry, my nephew. Nephew. Hi high speed internet. Everything. Else. People mm. would actually find out about what Qatar culture was, but they were absolutely dumbfounded at the difference between what they'd heard mm. and what they'd actually experienced. Mm. So yeah, you'd be surprised how you know uh, how ignorant people can be. But then you'd be surprised at how unignorant. So, I mean, have you been watching the Smart Agenda? I watched shorts, it. I watched yeah? it. Yeah. yeah. Those, those are amazing, the way things have been... Sort of yeah, worked. no, I, look, I agree, but you know what it is? I, I like to think good about people. And, and I say, if, if there's even an element of doubt where you can give, make, it, make it positive, make it positive. Don't think the worst of people. And most of the time, my experience is that people are just ignorant. They don't know. And as a consequence... So you said you were Buddhist, by the way. Yeah. And it, I know that in Buddhism, there's no actual concept of a creator or God, no, is that right? It's, it's, it's a, it's, I, I call it really a philosophy. Yes. Yeah, so I was going to say, not it's, a it's not really stuff. a religion it's as such. When I came than around from all these operations on my brain, yes. I sat up in bed, I've been working terribly hard. Right. Still working into my 70s. Wow. And I said, um, at that point... I You're a bit of an inspiration, you know that, you're quite and an inspiration. I said, I, when I come out of hospital, I think I'll either be um, a Buddhist or a Quaker. <laughs> okay, so you um, made that mind up. Yeah, no. I mean, you know, the Buddha is not a good, the Buddha was a teacher. Yes. And he said, in the Dhammapada, his teachings amongst them, he said, first of all, look at your own religion before you decide to, to, to become a Buddhist. Yeah. Uh, but he said, I have shown you the way, That's, which I always think is good. It's not, this is what you but must do. But do. do you feel, however, that, um, I mean, since this universe exists and all this matter and this energy, this order that we see, uh, you know, the laws of physics and mathematics and everything else, that there must be some sort of a mind behind it, a creator behind all of this? Or, or do you perceive it something that perhaps just happens sort of randomly? Or how, how do you perceive that? Well, the Buddhists just say, you know, the, uh, I mean, you know, my... I'm not, I'm not, I haven't been a great student sure. recently. Sure. Well, I, think, not I, could, I could probably but, say the same uh, about me, but yeah, yeah. no, but you know, um, it, yeah, I mean, there are things about Buddhism that I'm not sure. I'm not sure, sure about reincarnation. Sure. But I have been to quite a lot of funerals. Yeah. But I'm, I'm 78, and funerals see my friends at the moment seem to be 92 years old. Right. Anyway, I have to go and meet uh, my younger you, family. If you would now. like, we have three copies of the Quran. Would you like to read one or take um, one with you? I probably won't because I don't read very much. No at problem. The moment. Sorry. But I'm, you can get one online as well. Yes. But I'll just leave you with one very quick verse of the Quran. Yeah. Allah says, uh, "Did the universe create itself, or are you the creators of yourself?" So Allah is asking a very deep question that if you ponder on the universe and the fact that it exists, you'll come to the conclusion that there has to be something almighty, all powerful that brings everything into existence. But if you have a chance, check our YouTube channel out. It's called EF Dawa. Yeah. We would lovely to have you on as a guest. Very nice to see you. Yeah, it was really lovely to speak to you. I'm sorry that you're in a hurry, but we would love to have a conversation.